My name is Peter Salmon. My language group is Denma and Wariaga. My country is Gifford Creek, Wana, Edmund, Mini Creek. That's in the Gascoigne, up at Gascoigne, on the Lions River. Denma and Wariaga, they're very similar words here. Now they're in the Ngoralarbuna. I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm going into my country camp. Just me and my step grandfather. We had to speak English with our own people and all, except with our mother. That's where we got all our language from our mother. I never heard anyone talk to him anymore because I didn't go to school. I was read up with my mother and she talked to me that language all the time. But all the other young generation, they went to school and they wasn't talked talk in their language. So they forgot about it. They had to forget about it because they had to talk English, plain English. She used to talk to me in language about the country and all the other bits and pieces like trees and any foods, Aboriginal food, in Denma language. In Denma language, I don't know about Whitefellas language, they call this a mitari. It's good for coal, so good in water. Or you can break the leaf off and put it in your nose there and sniff it for a while, yeah. Wellara. White fella call it lemongrass. White fella call it snakewood. But the team will call it bugardi. They make boomerang out of these trees, bugardi tree. One of my favorite words is mavis. And that's mean Mother Bibi, that's my mother's name. In Denma, Bibi, that's mummy. Mum was born in Gifford Creek Station in Denma country. She's a Denma, her father's Denma. In those days, they didn't want any half caste kid, a half reason woman. Mum wanted to destroy me, wanted to kill me. But of course I was half caste kid. But the other old lady, she pulled the coat off my body and saved me and told mum that's my, it'll be my man when he grew up. She saved me right from the start because the other old lady that saved my life and said, you look after him. And when he grows up, it'll be my boyfriend or husband. This is what they call a giveaway. She went back to Mini Creek to work when I was in the pram. Then I ran up and ruin and started Jack Ruin there. Mum was there looking after me until I started Jack Ruin. And then I just went on Jack Ruin and she got another husband for herself, George Chubby. I never had a father. I had a father, white man, but it was left all to her and my stepfather to grew me up. My grandfather showed me all that country. What tell you the boundary, like a rock hole, or a creek or a hill, that's, that's your boundary. I was taught by my grandfather for that. Country. The Inma country, and what you got? White fella call this one a bee food. But the Inma call this one Mardala. 
This is where they get their shield from. These sort of tree, Madala tree. My other favorite word is os. Moro. White fellow call these os. In my language, we call them Moro. They in my language. Moro. Baba. If water in Denma, water in English. That's one of my favorite words. We were mustering cattle once, or riding one of these sort of animals. Then we had a neck bag hanging up here with water in it. And we ran out of water about lunchtime. When we finished tracking the cattle so we hadn't turned back because we didn't have any more water. See, that's a water bag, a neck bag we call that. See, that's the thing went dry on us. Back to the to a mill, wasn't pumping, but there was water down the well. Dead bunger was down there. So we took all our bridle reins out to lengthen it up to reach the water down the bottom with our quad pot and drank the water. That saved our life. If we didn't drink that, we wouldn't have been here. A bit smelly and a bit greasy, but we had to drink it to keep alive. And these animals, we rode back for about 10, 15 miles without any water. That's why it's my favorite word, moro, moro. Baba means water. Yungo is water, but you say it rains in a white fellow way, but in a white uh, Aboriginal say Yungo. The Guyana have, have a green harm. In Dinma language, we call it Manda. Pillaro. Manda is arm and filler is green. And that's what we call a bunger in the Inma language. This one here, a white fellow call it a weeping mulga. And the next one, we this one we call it Konaja in Konaja. And the next one white fellow call it jam tree. But we call that one in language, it's a uh, jabardi. And that little white one with a white bark, white fellow call that tea tree. And we call that in language, in the Inma language, we call that jello. It's flat rock, but the Inma call it yiliri. That's mean it's flat, yearly. And the color of it, kuchui, that's mean red. White fella call this one white. But then we call it pidan. White fella call this tindapi. Then we call it patu, Aboriginal food. They make damper out of this. Tambarva, that's damper. I was born in Maruna and read up there and Jack Root there, learned to ride horse and break in, break in colts and muster sheep. And we wasn't allowed to leave there in them days till we was 21. We was doing mustering and all that sort of thing. We started to lose a little bit of our language then. You know? We had to speak English with our own people and all, but except with our mother. That's where we got all our language from our mother. That's the Targari people, and this one's language, Targari. This one is the Ingada people. That's Ingada, Ingada. That, that's their language. Different, because I'm a Tien, see.